plug in to source. As reported by Dr. Stephen Greer, one of the most revelatory phenomena to come out of the military disclosure of extraterrestrial technologies is using quantum non-locality as a mode of space travel. This involves a type of interdimensional shift where the traveler pops out of the space-time continuum into a sort of subspace and then simply reappears at another physical location moments later anywhere in the universe. It was discovered that these types of technologies operate under the premise that all points in the universe are conscious and connected, and that this connection among points is instantaneous, completely outside the space-time continuum. Notwithstanding the mind-blowing potential this mode of travel would provide, there is another aspect I find even more fascinating, and that is, since all consciousness derives from the source creator, Within every point exists a gateway, if you will, to that source. Moreover, when applying this function to human health, we immediately see that the presence of source could be thought of as existing within every atom of the body. By allowing this possibility to exist, the simple act of choosing to connect would set up a direct plug-in to source. The connection could be one point or trillions, depending on how willing and open a person is to the possibility. Therefore, our body and our life could be seen as existing within and permeated by a great sea of conscious points existing as direct portals to the Creator. It is merely the belief that we are separated from Source that prevents us from allowing for the numberless Source portals in our body and immediate environment. In the new science of epigenetics developed by Dr. Bruce Lipton, it is posited that our beliefs and our DNA are intimately connected. What we believe is true about ourselves is reflected in the DNA of our body. Change your beliefs, change the body. It is the belief matrix of society and our acculturation into that society that creates layer upon layer of laws, rules, requirements, and other limited ideas that further separate us from the Creator, living quite literally picometers next to us and within us. Beliefs can act like viruses among us, taking hold in our personal matrix of traumas and self-preservation choices. They can distort our innate sense of right and wrong and drive powerful emotional responses. Beliefs tend to do our thinking for us, a sort of mental efficiency we use to determine what we do and do not like. Our innate sense of morality comes directly to us from our source portals and is built into the DNA of the body. But this innate sense can be corrupted by viral beliefs, which is how so many of us feel alienated and victimized by those creating the corruption. What we are being alienated from and victimized by is that separation from source. As the old saw goes, united we stand, divided we fall where we are united by source and divided by disconnection from it. My granddad used to say, Love always wins over fear. Love is God's way of reminding you of how close he is to your heart. And thus, fear is separation from a source. Love is the connection to it. My college philosophy teacher taught that light, love, and consciousness are really the same things, and that diminishment of those things is caused by fear. I believe that light, love, and consciousness also describes the Creator, instantly active and interactive through our portals of light, love, and consciousness. It has been said that all we ever really do is make choices, and that the universe, our experience, coalesces around those choices. When we experience fear, a choice to experience it has been made at some point. There is an existential belief somewhere in the matrix that tells us we're being separated from source, from light, love, and consciousness in some way. The fear tends to shut down access to the source portals within us, but only because we allowed that. A quick moment in mindfulness of love reestablishes the reality that source is literally everywhere, and that fear we have is the most tenuous of illusions. So, Plug into those infinite numbers of portals of source within and around you 
to heal, rejuvenate, and expand your life. Let go of the matrix of limiting beliefs and false moralities in favor of the innate wisdom of creation itself. It's always right here, right now, and forever a single choice away. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX. www.pureenergyrx.com.